through here. I saw something driving over here. The road is right here. It's right there. Dude, that's a freaking upside down car. Is this a car part? You get the color, but it's a Ford Focus. It'd be easy to pull out. It's just you have to block off part of the road because right. people are flying pretty fast up there. I'm surprised there's no guardrails on that road. It looks blue to me. Got them. Got look, look, look at the fa fancy lights. Yeah, but look there. at the emblem right there. We saw it coming through. We saw here. something driving over here. The road is right here. It's right there. I don't, that, dude, 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 dude. That's a freaking upside down car, man. Do you think it's a? Does it look like a? It's hard to tell. Planning on. Yeah, we saw that on the way through here. We saw it. It looked way too small, though. I think we're just going fast because, like, I mean, there ain't no denying. That's that's definitely a car. Dive really quick. I don't know. We're not. We weren't planning on coming back to Knoxville though. Or are we, we Oak Ridge anytime soon. What if it's her? Dude, the road. I mean, this is like perfect. The road right here with no guardrail. Well, look. I mean, here's a car driving by. This is like. This is like sketchy spot, man. Maybe go on the other side. And shoot the other angle. Is, that on, is it resting on the hill? It's kind of, let's see, I'm pointing at it. You go farther in front and look back. Maybe I can see if there's any damage up on the bank. It kind of looks a little round. That looks, that looks like a, I think it's a hatchback. It's a hatchback, but it looks like it's got a big butt. But I now like I think it. we're like right on the, it's, I think it's facing that, that I way. I don't think it's a Celica. I can't tell you, to be honest, man. I don't think a Celica is it's a lot flatter car. It's really short, but... I don't think, that, that shot makes me think it's not a Celica, but I don't, I would love to know what it is. I mean, I'm assuming, let's see, is this a, is this a car part? It's like a window thing. Mm -hmm. It might not be off our car, but it's kind of a coincident. Coincidental. Let's walk up here. Oh gosh. Do the splits, man. Bull in China closet? Pretty much. So I'm thinking this might be where the car hit. You can see the road here. I mean, it's very, very open, but I think that's a car part. I don't see any, uh, I don't see any logos on it. My guess, that might be off our car. Might be. So if this thing's smashed in the front end, you'll be able to tell. Yeah. Well, there's the buoy right there, but I don't see, I don't think it went right here. There's a big pipe it would have hit. Never and drive. All right, y'all suited up, ready to go. Huh? We just had to know this one screams accident. It's too suspicious. All right. Yeah, find out here in just a second. You got everything? Yep. Hose is all good. 
All right, this one should be quick. Turn my air on. That's kind of important. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right below that. You get the color, but it's a Ford Focus. Did it look wrecked on the front? I didn't get any of that. You just got the plate? No, got the plate. Figured out what kind of car it was, and then that was it. Well, 07. I brought this one up with me this time. This might Tennessee. give away something. A Anderson plate. It's just got some weird Asian stuff around it. 952 HJJ. <sighs> Did you look inside? When does that? I didn't do none of that, man. Hey. Don't judge me. Well, I got the tag. Let me Google it before <laughs> you take your stuff off. All right, well, I just did a lot of research. Um, Googling Namus. I didn't see anything popping off as a missing person. Which is, you know, a 2007. Unless, it, unless that's an older one that wore off. Because you... Don't you replace the stickers, I guess, right? Uh... Yeah, it's probably the original, though. These... There's none on here. Anderson. I don't know. I don't either. It's weird. Seems like an accident, though. It probably was. But they might have gotten out, and then they're just like, heck with that car. It's happened before. Was the windows... You didn't see the windows at all? I didn't check anything. You I went and know. got the tag and came up. I was, I was cold, and I'm like, I don't want to do this. But I got the tag, I was the most important, I think. Hello. Um, I was curious, is your jurisdiction, what is it? What, oh crap, what is this boat ramp? Bull Run Park. Bull Run Park. Uh, yes. Could you send a, a sheriff over my way? Uh, we was out. Uh, scanning the waters, actually looking for vehicles, and we ended up finding two of them. And they had tags on them, so we wanted to pass on the information to you guys, make sure you're aware of the vehicles, and if there's... See, the tag number is 952 Hotel Jack Jack. How's it going? Yeah, that's us. We called. Okay, cool. Yeah, we we got the plate. We got the we got the we pulled the tags off these cars we found over at this boat. If you want to come. Uh, where exactly is the car? Uh, so it's like well, there's three little trees right by the road. Yes. It's somewhere right around there, and there's okay. like a broken post right there. So it's like off the like pretty much the bank or whatever. It's off the, the yeah yep. Yeah, it's okay. like right right off there. I okay. didn't know if y'all knew about it, but the, you know we. we didn't. <laughs> we do search and recovery, so we travel around all the time, and uh, gotcha. all usually right. when there's a tag on them, it means they haven't been located yet. Right. And uh, we just, yeah, we just wanted to report it. Yeah, I'll go there and grab the tag from you if you don't care, and okay. then I'll try to go, because we got to try to figure out how to get it out, so. Is it yeah. fully submerged? Yeah, it's fully submerged, okay. yep. And he's the one that do actually dove, so he can give you some more details. Oh, one second, 
I don't think so. The visibility was pretty bad. Okay. But we have the tag, so if it comes up, gotcha. we'll know. There was a couple of dollars I got tagged on the news. They said it was hard to see, but they don't believe there's anybody. Lord, Lord. Yeah. Honestly, it was probably a dopey. Drove it off and then got out of the car. And that, was like, that's what we were thinking. <laughs> yeah, and they crashed and they didn't, just, they didn't yeah. report it. But um, it, it's, it's, I think it says 2007. So it's an. It, I guess it's older, right. but the other one we found, um, like farther down, it's covered in barnacles, which usually means that they're older. But right. I, I don't know. You, there's no telling. And we actually pull one out here before. We have a tow truck. Sometimes oh, wow. we pull them out. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we found a lot around across Oak Ridge and Knoxville. Yes, yeah. So we just, so, you know, just like to report it and just make sure y'all know. Well, we appreciate it. So this is the tag off the this one. All right. It says 07. Wow. But if you look at this one, which is the other one we found, you can see that one's a lot Holy older. Holy moly, yeah. Wow. I mean, you can tell the number from the back more, I guess. That's kind of cool, to be honest with you. Yeah, that was an old, old beetle bug. Wow. Right. I know a lot of times these aren't in the records because they're so old, they're older. Right. But. Cool. All right. Thank you, I guess we got rescue squad coming. I get out of the water and if you got guys up here stand by to show them where it's at. <laughs> they, they actually want to get it out? Oh yeah. Like now? I think so, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, if, if y'all are going to do all that, we, I mean, well, I, I don't know if I you're going to I doubt they're going to do it tonight. Well, but, I've never done this before. <laughs> I mean, it's not going anywhere. It's, They'll probably do it so, on a nice, nice, nice day after day, the rain. Yeah. <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm not working. Did it come back on file? Is that what I heard? Like, did yeah. it, like insurance? Like it went no insurance, insurance but it's File. It's on file. Well, yeah. It not, just came, not just came back as got the myst mysteriously disappeared or something. What stolen? Nothing. Because that's not a that's it, it, that's what we when we first saw. We're like, hey, this ain't a place you dump a car. We thought, we thought it was an we thought it was an accident. Right. It looks like because the, there's like wooden posts and one or two of them are like bent yeah, over. Go off on the side and there's the road, a car part on the side, like a trim or something. Yeah. Usually we don't find out anything about these cars. Right. Yeah, they're usually yeah. not Just on like, file, yeah. mystery car, they don't care. Right. Leave it there. Whatever. <laughs> or they tell us like, do what you want. <laughs> we don't yeah. want to do it. I mean, it'd be easy to pull out. It's just you have to block off part of the road because right. people are flying pretty fast up. But I'm surprised there's no guardrails on that road. It's crazy. It is. I mean, it's so hilly out here. I think I was reading about other accidents that have happened in that same stretch. <laughs> How's it going? How are you guys doing? Pretty, oh, good. pretty good. Found a, found a car for you, I guess, to, yeah. to train on. <laughs> All right. Uh, How's it going? How you doing? Adam. We, we thought it was the way it was This car was just off the ramp right here. No, so it's off the side. You already on down here to the side. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. right right down there a little ways. Uh, well, we've had a few. If you run off in there and a few people drowned. I bet, no guardrail. That yeah. seems yeah. dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's 15 feet underwater. Yeah. About what, 25, 30 foot off? I mean, I would say 10, 20. Well, yeah, about 20. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much. I right. told him to give me a damn rope later. Oh, 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 yeah, definitely. It'll pluck it right out. Did you just go down and look at it? Yeah, I dove it. It's upside down. Y'all want to get it out tonight? Yeah, the room, we're pulling it tonight. Y'all need us to. Well, we. We have our dive gear and everything. My dive gear's on the way, and the other dive. Oh, you already. Oh, yeah. She said she she didn't know if you got. I didn't know y'all. Okay. My stuff stays hey, together, but it stays the station all the time. Yeah. So, do you got a sonar boat and all that to find it? No, they told us it was wasn't that far off the water, so we didn't bring one. Okay. She didn't tell us it was down there. <laughs> I got you. Well, I mean, we know. We pretty much know exactly where it's I at. I mean, if you don't care, if you put your boat back in the water. We'll run over and dive down and hook it or mark it. Well, we can go mark it with a buoy if you want to do that. We can do that. Yeah. I mean, and I just... you could. I mean, do you care? No, I don't know. Once me and Vaughn get ready, if you don't care, we'll just drop in there and you take us up there and drop us. Yeah. I'll take that engine, have him go down there and set the scene lights up to where we can see the water. Okay. That was the only reason we didn't, he didn't bring a boat because they told him it wasn't but just a few feet off the water right in here. Right. They didn't say it was down there. I got you. Yeah, it's. Normally when somebody wrecks, they see it and they say, oh, the car's off in the water down here. We normally know it's right down there in that straightaway because it's where everybody wrecks. Yeah. All right, guys, so we are on the boat.
boat. <laughs> All right, so right now we're going out to help mark this thing. So, cause they want to pull it out tonight. That's bunk. we didn't expect that, but that's that's cool that they want to get it. So let's get on over here. It's probably gonna be dark, but we got some lights. Right there. This is the car, or that's where the uh... the car is right a little past that bent post right there. All right, that's uh. There is the pipe. Challenge. Tell me left, right. If I start I'm good right now. Yeah, you're good now. Eleven feet, twelve. Should be pretty close. There's the pipe. Bump right into it. Get on it. Lift it up. Up, down, up, down. You might should be well, bouncing right up the side. I. Get it? It's, it's not stuck, no. I, it's a, I feel it. Alright, that's it. Okay. This is a new challenge. I've never done this pitch black at night. Yep. So it's kind of fun. I'm glad we have some lights. Yeah, I know. They're so bright. But, uh, alright, I guess we can go back there and tell them we're marked, ready to go, and then see what they want to do. They're gonna... got it marked. Yeah, we yep. got it marked with the buoy over there. Is it? Sorry? Right on top of it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Two vehicles off here in the last five years. Really? Right here. Right here? Gosh. In this, in this area, right here. One guy had a medical emergency and just crashed. The other one just full sent it. DNR is right there. We got it marked. They're about to dive this thing and then we got a wrecker. Oh, it's Coley Tone. It's probably the guys we know. because there's a tree in the way. Hopefully it's it's kind of dark, so sorry about that, but they are pulling the, the cable out right now. I'm gonna hand it off to the diver and then it should be pretty quick. There she is. Oh, coming up, yeah. Pretty good, I guess it's chaining the cable. Right? Yep, that's the wheel. I, hooked, I guess we hooked it from the rear. I couldn't tell. Oh, I'm trying to find something. What's going on? Hey, buddy, I'll find your dad. There you go, Theo. Duck. Hey, Lake. Hey, Dick! The window's all up. Focus, isn't it?
Yeah, but look at the emblem right there. Yeah. It's empty, right? Right now we're trying to they're trying to hook it up. I guess the back wheels are better than the front. And then haul this thing away safely. Alright, well I guess we better jump in the boat. Get in the boat and go back, yeah. Watch this there. That's one way to do it. Alright, let's jump with the boat. Alright, flatbed just showed up. So she's getting ready to take her away. Just like that. Huge shout out to Quality Towing. Kind of hard to see their logo, but they do a great job. They've helped us out in the past. So if you guys want to show them some love, you can go leave them a good review on their Facebook page or Google Yelp review. I know they appreciate it. That is going to wrap it today. It's getting really dark, but you can see behind us the car is going away. Once again, shout out to everybody involved. Quality Towing, the fire department, rescue squad, uh, the local police department, everybody. This is, it's a huge involvement, and we got this car out. You know, this is one of those situations where we didn't know there was someone in it. We knew it was reported stolen, but, you know, who stole the car? Why was it? It's, it's just a weird spot. We were talking to the guys here, and they said several people have gone in there, and lots of accidents happen along that road. So. I definitely think guardrails should be there. What you think, man? Man. What'd you go? Oh, man, scared me. So, we had a pretty good day today. We could not have done this without anybody's help. No, I mean, that was, I did not expect this. We were supposed to be on the road going home at five. Yeah. It's now 11. Uh, we're still here. Well, but, uh, I mean, it was cool. It was a really fun experience because, like, everybody got involved. This is pretty cool. So, this doesn't, get to ha this doesn't happen that much. It's good training, too. Oh, I mean, yeah. Everybody got I wish something out. There was more light, but uh, that's kind of it's nighttime. You never, I mean, like I said before, you know, day or shine, rain or shine, night or day, we're gonna be out here searching. It's bedtime too. It's bed. It's Maybe bedtime. we need some snacks. This is bedtime. Maybe. Too. But we appreciate y'all watching all the support. We couldn't be involved in finding vehicles like this. 
find answers to whether there are or are not people, but at least, you know, worst case, we got a car clean out of the river. So once again, shout out to everybody. Shout out to Quality Towing. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next adventure.